Welcome to another Raceworld TV Top 10. This week we look at Top 10 F1 helmets of all time, combining modern designs, iconic designs and some downright ridiculous and outlandish designs. In recent years, drivers have become pretty creative with their helmets, and as a result the FIA, party poopers that they are, have discussed bringing in restrictions in an attempt to rein in the sheer number of changes. So far, nothing has stopped F1 stars from decorating their heads in any way they see fit. So let's have a rundown of the top 10 best wackiest designs. Number 10, we have Lewis Hamilton's tribute to the smooth criminal, Michael Jackson. It's easy to say to Lewis Hamilton, you just want to be starting something. But this wasn't the first time a driver had given a nod to a lost idol or sporting hero, and it wasn't the last. Teams often display a black band or stripe or block out a large section of the car. The 2013 United States Grand Prix was definitely no thriller. But just as a spectacle, Lewis Hamilton's helmet just beat it. It featured an accurately rendered portrait of the pop star on the crown of the helmet and silhouetted on the side the iconic image of a leaning Michael Jackson in a Trillian suit. As a top fan of the King of Pop, Lewis and Hamilton's decision to have a Michael Jackson tribute helmet was as easy as A, B, C. At number nine, we have Heike Kovalainen's app-influenced Angry Birds helmet. In recent years, app games have caused a storm in the world of smartphones and tablet computers. Heike's helmet appealed to adults and children alike. As he teamed up with the addictive games developer, they adorned his helmet with the red cartoon image of an angry bird. And across the side, Heike written in the widely recognised scroll of the game. I wonder if, at some point in the future, we'll see a driver with a certain sweet-based game plastered all over his head. At number 8, we have the first of our iconic helmets, with the Hill helmet. We must call it the Hill Helmet, because both Graham Hill and Damon Hill wore the same pattern around the top. The design is actually a replica of the cap of the London Rowing Club, of which Graham Hill was an integral member. That's right, one of the quickest drivers in motor racing history was in a rowing club. Not sure he experienced quite the same G-forces in his long boat. Here's an interesting little fact. Josh Hill, the third generation in the family, and Graham's grandson, has adopted the same design on his helmet. He hasn't yet raced in Formula 1, but maybe we will one day soon see a third hill at the pinnacle of motorsport. In the 2000 season, Eddie Irvine wore a helmet decorated with a Jaguar motif, and it comes in at number 7 in our top 10. It was the quality of the artwork that really stood out. Well, the fact that it cut quite an intimidating sight as it appeared to be roaring, may well have made it stand out too. Eddie was driving for Jaguar Racing at the time, and rarely do drivers match their helmets to their teams. Unfortunately, the elaborate design didn't help him gain success. In the three years he was racing with Jaguar, he managed just two podium finishes in his second season with the team, and retired at the end of 2002. In at number six is the first of the patriotic helmets, David Coulthard was clearly very proud of his heritage, donning a helmet that featured the Scottish saltire. The familiar white cross on a blue background became synonymous with DC. Oh, and Mel Gibson of course. Even though many other drivers have used their national flags to decorate their helmets and overalls, very few have done it in quite such a brazen way. Because in Coulthard's case, it covered the entire helmet. DC's helmet is also the first example of a driver who chose a design and then stuck with it throughout his career. At number 5 is the helmet of legendary James Hunt. Despite being a playboy and a rebel, his helmet was a surprisingly simple black design, punctuated by three stripes in blue, yellow and red, and his name in big bold white letters. These solitary stripes represented the colours of Wellington College, where Hunt studied. Hunt was a driver from a time before novelty racing helmets being used as fashion accessories. For Hunt, the pursuit of fashion was left to a lifestyle away from the track. Twice, in both 2007 and 2013, K1 
Kimi Raikkonen wore helmets painted just like Hunt's as a tribute to the F1 legend. Number four in our countdown epitomises the glamour and grandeur of Formula One and made its appearance at the Monaco Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton's diamond encrusted helmet, featuring his autograph etched in diamonds, was as gaudy and extreme as it gets. To be fair though, if we were ever going to witness a helmet like this, it was going to be at Monaco. And with all the bling he indoors himself with, it was always going to be Lewis that wore it. To some, this took the elaborately decorated F1 helmet over the limit and into the realms of the downright ludicrous. For others, this helmet epitomises the charisma and razzle-dazzle of Formula One, and more specifically, the Monaco Grand Prix. We're into the top three, and at number three, it has to be a world champion's helmet, and a helmet that utilised the advent of night races. It's difficult to actually describe the pattern on the helmet that Sebastian Vettel wore at the 2011 Singaporean Grand Prix, but it was certainly eye-catching. It featured glittering swirls of kaleidoscope patterns incorporating chrome along with a plethora of different colours. Well, it was an attempt at a description. The key point here is that it looked fabulous under the floodlights around the streets of Singapore and inspired others to make the most of the thousands of light bulbs illuminating the track. In at number two, so near and yet not quite making the top spot, is to Jackie Stewart's iconic tartan banded helmet. Like David Coulthard, Sir Jackie was extremely patriotic and proud to fly the flag for Scotland as he stormed to three world championships. He was also the linchpin in the campaign to make Formula One and motorsport as a whole safer and is still an influential voice in the sport. His helmet, again, was one which was easily recognised from a great distance. The tartan band on Sir Jackie's helmet was Royal Stuart Tartan. But it's interesting to observe that the tartan on the race car of Sir Jackie's team, the Stuart Grand Prix, was actually different. The tartan of his F1 team was called Stuart Racing Tartan and was specially designed for the team. The countdown is over and at number one is the most iconic, widely recognised and quite simply the best Formula One helmet in history. The late great Ayrton Senna's yellow, green and blue helmet sticks in the memory like a traditional white and black panelled football. The colours of Senna's helmet are quite obviously the colours of the Brazilian flag, with the bright yellow dominating, making it stand out all the more. Much like Damon Hill wearing the same helmet pattern as his father, Senna's nephew Bruno donned a helmet with very similar colours and design to his uncle's. Needless to say, it was slightly eerie to watch Bruno driving around with that helmet on, and equally haunting to hear Senna's name spoken again by commentators and pundits. Bruno Senna isn't the only driver to wear the Ayrton helmet design. In tribute to the great man, Lewis Hamilton started his career wearing a helmet in the colours of his idol. More recently, and in commemoration of the 20th anniversary of Senna's tragic death, the Brazilian football team donned helmets in Senna's colours. In a rather more bizarre attempt at a tribute, Brazilian airline Azul decorated the front of one of their jets in the colours of Senna's helmet. It'll be interesting to see just how far people will go in the future to celebrate Senna's life. So the reason the Brazilian hero makes the top spot in our top 10 of F1 helmets is simply because, uniquely, he has been immortalised in the images and tributes of his yellow, green and blue helmet. That concludes our list of top 10 F1 helmets of all time. Let us know your favourite helmets and comment below. Thank you for watching another Race World TV Top 10 and make sure to hit the subscribe button and join us next time. Bye!